Hi everybody, Mr. Gottlieb here with another algebra video for you. Today I'd like to talk to you about converting from uh, vertex or your intercept form into standard form for a quadratic equation. Let's say we have something like y equals one-third x uh, minus, uh, uh, let's say, how about uh, six, we'll make it a, nice, a semi-nice one, squared plus seven, okay? So this is vertex form, this y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. I want to convert this into standard form. I know my standard form, this is where I'm heading, is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So I don't want any parentheses. I want a squared term, a linear term, and a constant. For this, one thing people miss, they try to distribute this exponent, but you can only do that if this is multiplication occurring inside or division. This is subtraction. So what you need to do is off to the side, you either need to FOIL x minus 6 times x minus 6, or you can use the box method, which I have detailed in another video, x minus 6, x minus 6. Multiply these together. If you're questioning why are you taking x minus 6 times itself twice, think about what squared means. x squared means I have x times x. 3 squared means I have 3 times 3. Well, this is x minus 6 squared. I'm taking x minus 6 times x minus 6. So, multiplying this out, I get x squared minus 6x, and minus 6x, and plus 36. So now I have y equals one-third of, uh, let's see, we have x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus 7. Almost there. We need to distribute this one-third so that's y equals one-third x squared. When I distribute it to this, that'll be minus 4x, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. Uh, 36 divided by 3 is 12, so that's plus 12, plus 7. I'm not finished yet because I have two constants, and I should be down to a, a single constant. So y equals one-third x squared minus 4x plus 19 is what you should end up with as your standard form if you've tried to convert this. Let's take a look at an intercept form problem. What if we had y equals negative 3 times x minus 5 times x plus 7? It's really almost the same thing. It's a little shorter. I'm going to, again, foil these two things or draw a box and multiply them. So that's x minus 5, x plus 7. That's x squared, that's minus 5x, that's 7x, and that's negative 35. If you feel like I'm going too fast to that multiplication, you may want to watch my video on multiplying polynomials. I do have a video up for that. I break it down a little slower, but I'm assuming if you're doing Algebra 2 work, you probably can zip right through that. So, we now have y equals negative 3, and that's going to be in the parentheses x squared. That's going to make it 2x minus 35. I distribute this to everything here, so that's y equals negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 38. And that is your standard form for that intercept. I'm going to do a separate video on how to convert standard form back into intercept form or vertex form depending on the problem, so keep an eye out for that video in the future. Thanks, have a great day, bye.